Hey, welcome, welcome back to my channel. I am Silver Ninja, and we are going over the game Ant Legion, and they added more stuff to do. This is a mini game, and you find it uh, down here in the, whoops, right here on your little uh, pop-out tab. Repel Invaders. It's pretty easy to get started. It walks you through it. There's nothing too confusing about it. So I thought I'd share what I've come up with. Now, the game has to start with uh, getting me as close. Like, I'm a high-level nest, so pretty much the game is just catching up to my level. This seems to be like it's a permanent thing. How do we know this? Well, one, the... Well, not that one. The reward box down here doesn't have a timer. It's clearance reward, just like the Dark Cavern. And... It has 5,000 levels to clear. Now, it does get um, pretty crazy. And you get, you'll open up five spots pretty easily. And once you get to a, a certain stage, I went through it pretty quick and I don't remember the stage, you'll open up the ability to evolve. You'll open up, which then uh, ups the ants that you receive immediately. Don't be afraid to recycle your ants. You get that food right back. And then you can just get a new one. Uh, this stage changes as the level goes up. Every few uh, every few bosses. Now this is the current setup I like to do. Um, defense towers is is always been one of my favorite pastimes. And right now I am slowing it down, poisoning it, and then setting it on fire. And this is for the ones that get through this seems to do a speed fire these obviously tell you they poison this is a fire attack and again as you get up to a certain level you open up this deploy here and what the deploy does it still doesn't seem to tell you the exact stats of damage stats and damage that it does but yellow is fast attack attacks multiple targets in the meantime, blue soldier attack while slowing down the enemy. And blue soldier attack while poisoning the enemy. And yes, it is raining. I do a lot of these videos in my car where I know I will be less likely to be interrupted. So when you hit the evolve, but once you get here, evolve, that relates to your specialized ants. So I have level f um, level 5 legendary ants but let's say I put in a level one you can change this as often as you like but as a level one this is I open up this first row let's see if it changes when I get an epic ant yeah so even just the um, rarity of the specialized ant is important so don't just throw on anything there's a blue right purple yellow and then four and it goes in so even though it's a level five evolved ant up to 40% more damage. That might be different if it's a lower ant. Actually, yeah, let's test that. Do I have one? Uh, do not. They're all evolved. Okay, that's fine. We'll test it up here. All right, so now we're going to go up here and we'll test this sugar ant. And does 100% more damage, but let's say if it's a level 5. Just the same. So... The all, all having the star ants does is open up more things for you. Okay, and you can read what they do. They get pretty interesting. Uh, one of them does multiple attacks. I don't know what ASPD is, if anybody else does. Uh, please feel free to share in the comments. Uh, each time area damage is inflicted. And uh, they get pretty interesting. But for the most part, I'm on automatic mode. Here comes one of the big beetles. And that is one of the effects of the blue ants, where it will has like a really small chance to stop it in its tracks. Unfortunately, not in range of anything. So I put this here because it will slow it down all the way around the circle. So there you go, that's what that does. And then, this is another map. It's a little bit more challenging because they can go different directions. But 
pretty much right now they're not a challenge for me so I just let that run why I do this down here this is what takes up a lot of your time okay um, so you'll notice all these are green which is means they're at their current max until I evolve them okay and I have a lot of things a lot of evolved points so that's gonna go up a high level but I set it up to this point so that I can show you um, how I do things. So right now they're all maxed at 38. Before I got through some quests in Predator Nest and essentially got more more of the um, more of these things, the Evolver gems. Then I uh, I always max have a max one ready because once these things get challenging. Um, and I evolve it, I want to be able to um, up my ants very quickly. Now, a lot of times I'll have uh, two red at 38, and two green at 38, and then one yellow at 38. Just to help me get to that initial first go. Now, you do get rewards every clearance level. Now, I won't collect the, um, the gene herbs and the gear evolvers. Because I am a saver, which means I will save these until a gear event comes around, or a gene gene event comes around, or I and then and I should have saved I should have saved these ones too for a specialized ant shard event, just to get a little extra points. Whether you're a saver or not depends on the nest level and whether you can wait. Really, it's a patience thing, and ignore those little red little red dots all over the place. Now, let's see. So let's go ahead and evolve these. Okay. And now I can go a lot higher. So let's go 39. And you notice they all evolved at the same time. Okay. So that's the new minimum. So let's get this guy here. Get my poisoners going. And what it, the game will show you right when you start is how to get more evolved ants. And you basically just move them over and you match them up. And I got pretty far until they up and then they'll upgrade. So there's 39, now I have 240s. Okay, pretty basic. And then you train more and do it. Now, what I have found that makes it a little simpler for myself is I pick the ant I want to evolve, which for me is going to be that guy, is the blues to start off with because it's doing the initial damage and it's slowing them down. So what I find is easier for me is I just get rid of everything that's not blue. Uh, 39, I should have done that, but there we go. 41, I'll put this guy here, okay. And now I'm just going to go like this, get a bunch of blues, or not, or hope to get a bunch of blues. It's pretty random. And yeah, I could probably get that 41 pretty quick, but right now the goal is just, just to get through the blues. Because I need all the space, you know, to make it faster. And you don't have to do it this way. This is just a way that I have found that works well for me. And then as soon as they turn the green color, you know they're at their max. Now there is a feature that allows you to do this very quickly. And of course you can buy it. Oop, I need a 40 here real quick. And it's just about always having the strongest ants up in this area, okay? So that's a couple ways that I like to do it. Once you get these full, it's I find it easier to throw away all but one color ant so that I can just focus on upgrading the ant that I want to upgrade. But I guess it was a horrible example for this beginning because really I can just upgrade these ants as I, as I go along until they reach a little bit higher level. Thirty-nine, 
39, 39. Sometimes I'll, or depending on where I'm at, sometimes I'll just organize them by color. Forty-one. Let's put that guy up there, and that's. I mean, not really much more I can show you about how to do that. So, what I'm going to do is this infinity right here. So I have one trial. Okay, I have an auto fuse. We'll turn that on, and then these things just start hopping on all over, and then you just got to keep filling them up. It's pretty fun to watch. And pretty easy to do. Now, once I have this going. I pretty much just do this. I don't worry about much else. Here's a 42. Here's a 42. Because this is on a timer. And I want to get as many auto done as I can. So don't waste your auto timer until you've evolved. I mean, I've wasted, but I wouldn't activate it until you have a, a lot of evolutions to do. So like after you got through your daily quests, after you got through your arena battles... Um, everything that gives you see and then it'll tell you once you've maxed this out it'll say hey you can do this one so 44 is my current max 42 41 43 41 42 and that's pretty much the gist of what I'm gonna do here I have more to show you as soon as I get through this timer so just bear with me and watch them hop around one of my favorite defense tower games is called gem defense I wonder if it's still in the play store beat the, I beat that one and I haven't played it in forever all right, so pretty much max. See, I'm maxed out now. There's nothing to do, so I pretty much just gotta have to decide which ones I want to get rid of. It doesn't matter. You get the food back. Just don't get rid of something you're trying to upgrade. Is it a big deal? No, just gotta start over. You know, 43. There's a 43. There's a 43. And then I'm just going to hop around. Oop, my timer's almost up. Saves you a lot of, a lot of moving stuff around. And yeah, we can get some more maxed out while we're doing this. We got one blue one maxed out. Come on. Just threw one away, and it opened up a bunch more. Let's do that away, see if anything else comes up. All right, so that is the end of my auto timer. Now, you can, of course, activate it permanently. Um, but you can also get them uh, through daily quests. So we'll look at that. So let's hit return. And you go under daily quests. And these chests up here, you see I get the evolution stones. Uh, here's another evolution stone. Here is a three minute auto fuse. Okay, now these are, there's not more evolution stones. Now I don't recommend, again, always, if you've watched my video on it, um, don't cash these in if it's going to max this out. Because then the timer stops and you're getting less out of it. Now we're here. Check these two things. I like to keep my timers going. And we'll do one of these. Okay. Whoops. And whoops. I do want to go back in here, but not, not just yet. What I forgot to show you was what's in the other chest, which you can, of course, check on your own. Uh, let's see, more evolution stones. Uh, totem chest you will not see in this one until you reach level 25. And more evolution stones. That's why I had so many. So every day you can get a big evolution on your uh, repelling ants. 
So let's go back into the game and look at what else we can do. So you get this two times at speed, okay? And when, how do you activate that? Well, you can buy it. And I do believe you can, and then we saw a speed in the, um, I believe in the quests. Just activate that. So you get them from the diamond purchase or through the daily quests. Okay, and those are the only two ways. But the big ones are these um, evolving gems. And there's other events that you get them through pretty much everything that you do on a regular basis. Okay, so that is basically it. Let's check the rewards. Nothing new I want to collect. And that's it. So for me, it's mostly just being in this game and letting the timer go until I get all caught up. And then, I have, then I'll have to evolve my ants more. So that'll be ten, depend on your uh, nest level, your, which is basically your um, specialized ants level, things like that. So I have six minutes to get this one. And it's only a dollar. I'm going to go ahead and get it. All right. So I bought that. And then two things happened. One, this timer that was down to five minutes restarted to an hour and up to, to a $3 one where I can get more things. And now it's funny because it says I have a one-time purchase for in 21 hours, but this ends in an hour. Don't know what that means. I'm probably not going to spend another $3, but at this time. So we'll see what happens tomorrow and see if that guy is still available or if it's just meant for that initial purchase push for all those who do spend a lot of cash in this game. Look, I can do more evolutions. And then I can just keep on evolving. I can get another, um, I have another auto, which I'm not going to spend right now. But that is the basics of the new event. Try to get as high as you can. If you lose, you, you don't have to start over. You basically wait until you can evolve your ants and or de and or deploy uh, better specialized ants on those just to get a little further in the game and the whole point of that oops, is to get the rewards and you have 5,000 levels so this is an ongoing game until you reach the end and pretty crappy reward at the end that should be like a garden ran or something we get a lot of diamonds. VIP too. Yeah, I mean, these aren't bad rewards. You get all the way up to this level and you get 10 Mark of Honor. Ooh. I am, I'm not impressed for all the work you got to put into this. But it's something. And it's meant to be an ongoing thing. So uh, that is what it is. All right. Well, if you think I missed anything or got anything wrong, feel free to share in the comments. Um, how do you stage your ants? I like to slow them down. And look, they changed it up. Here we go. I'm going to change it back. I personally like to slow them down, poison them, and then set them on fire. And then beat the crap out of them once they reach this level. Um, but you might do something different. You can only... Oh, something else too. You can only have two soldiers of the same color type. So I can't have three poison, three fire, or three blue. Um, if these ants get fast enough, I might choose... Uh, put another slow one, another um, blue ant there to slow it down even further. So... Things will change as I get to harder levels, but I'm just not there yet, so we will see. I might make another video at that point. All right, well, again, <laughs> my brain is a little random here, but again, uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you on the next one. Remember to keep it fun. Die, ants, die. Playing mantises. If you haven't noticed, every kill gives you more food. All right, have a good one.